Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this four court film for this absolutely awesome 2004 Nissan L Grand. Uh, this car has been uh, converted into uh, into a camper van. Uh, can sleep, strictly speaking, up to uh, up to four people. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a squeeze when you do that, but it, it certainly does have the um, the pop top roof. Uh, to allow uh, uh, two people to to sleep upstairs, probably young children, um, and uh, and also enough room uh, on the uh, on the main rock and roll bed uh, for for another two adults as well. Like I said, it's a, a little bit of a squeeze for for four, but um, but certainly is classed as a four berth. Um, the van itself is um, in absolutely stunning condition. Um, pretty much how we we bought it. The previous owner really looked after it. It's the three and a half liter uh, Rider, um, which is the sort of specification level and, and changes some, some things like the body styling and stuff like that um they're very very they've got a really really sort of cult following these these vans so i'm going to be very very careful about what i say uh in terms of getting any any facts or figures wrong um as i'm sure people will uh, would like to point out any errors that i make but um i'll try my best for you so it's a three and a half liter v6 petrol engine this has also been lpg converted as well um which uh, which really does help actually so the fuel consumption on the on the van itself is not particularly great it's obviously quite a heavy vehicle and a very very powerful petrol engine um so the fuel economy is not fantastic but it is aided by the the lpg conversion that's been done um because basically lpg gas will cost you as it stands at the moment between 45 and 55 pence per liter um, as opposed to uh, to unleaded petrol, which is about one pound thirty, one pound forty, or something like that. So, a journey that might cost ninety uh, pounds in uh, with with petrol uh, means that if you uh, if you have the uh, the LPG uh, tank filled up, um, you can generally achieve that same journey for about sort of twenty or thirty pounds or something like that, which is makes a hell of a difference. Um, so it's actually finished in a, in a metallic white. It's quite difficult. The clouds uh, clouds have just come across. Um, across the sun so it's quite difficult to see but when the um when the sunlight really pushes onto it you can you can see all sorts of uh, different it's basically like a, meta a pearl uh, color so uh, you get a really nice metallic kind of fleck to it um like i said condition wise it's in fabulous condition this is obviously a 2004 vehicle but it is showing very very few signs of wear um i will sort of um i'll, I'll point out any small blemishes for you um just for people that are traveling from from a distance to have a look at it um but overall the condition is absolutely fabulous um it's uh, it's been so well cared for uh, it really is lovely um so we have the uh rider style uh, alloy wheels that are on here the previous owner has had these painted in gloss black and then diamond cut across the faces. Every single one of those are completely unmarked and you've got very, very good tyres all the way around as well. Um, so uh, so none of those needing to be changed anytime soon. We'll come all the way down the passenger side and you'll see that the, the car is completely free of any dents or marks or anything like that. It's absolutely perfectly straight all the way down the side. Really is absolutely exceptional. Um, and all the way around, back bumper completely free of any marks or scratches or anything like that at, at all. Um, really, really very, very nice indeed. Around to the back here, and you'll see the previous owner has actually fitted uh, the, like the sort of chrome lights around. Not something I'm normally a massive fan of, but actually works extremely well uh, on this as well with the with the chrome uh, plinth at the back and the L grand lettering and everything like that with all the lighting on the back there as well. So um, actually, I think complements it quite quite nicely. But you could remove those um, if it wasn't to your taste. Um, and then on the side here, we have uh, the um, LPG port for, for for filling with gas. Uh, we also have a, a television satellite point on the side there for connecting an aerial to it and also your electric hookup on the side there as well and then obviously your petrol flap and everything like that as well but yeah coming all the way down again driver's side completely free of any marks at all bonnet's got a couple of very very small stone chips but really nothing to major to point out at all um really is lovely and i think if i was going to point out anything it would just be just on down here on the lower part of the splitter which does sit quite low um it's obviously just caught something there before it's been touched in on the front but honestly and truly um it's amazing and everybody that's seen this van just can't believe the overall condition of it it's uh it really is absolutely exceptional um <clears throat> show you the front Inside the uh, car has got this beautiful cream leather, it all in fantastic condition, driver's bolster and everything like that, all, all really nice as well. Uh, cream continues there on the steering wheel with the wooden inserts up there. Um, but again, all the plastics and everything like that. It's really, really nice. It's been so well looked after. You've got all the curtains and everything like that that pull across. And we've also got some blackout blinds that fit um, across the front window as well when you're using that. Um, in here we've had a um, 
uh, there's also a, a Kenwood uh, stereo system in here. This has got DAB digital radio as well as Bluetooth for your phone um, and Bluetooth for uh, media streaming as well. Um, so that works very well and also controls for the um, for the rear camera and everything as well. Um, people that know a bit about these know that all these buttons normally come in Japanese. These have all been converted for you. So we've got full dual zone climate con control, um, extremely ice cold. Um, air conditioning which is lovely there has actually been a tablet uh, installed into here I've never really played around with it too much but it is actually in there um, and uh, it was just a sort of clever way that they've adapted that main screen up there to make it a little bit more um, sort of uh, usable and everything like that more modern and up-to-date um, Elgrand's come with this wonderful electric powered doors which is really nice that can actually be done off the key as well you can you can actually press the, um, the button on there and open the, on each of the doors individually just pop out to the widescreen here and you'll see the cream leather continues all the way through the back there it's really in fabulous condition really really nice and then we come across here we've got a full kitchen area with double hob and the sink as well um, and there's a water um, 10 litre water canister that sits behind there that you can take out and fill up um, and use that but the pump works on it all very very nicely over on this wall here um, you've got those your uh, the satellite um, inputs and everything like that for the uh, for the aerial uh, on the outside. We've got two twin uh, 240 volt sockets and also double USB socket as well as another 12 volt there as well. And smoke alarms, carbon monoxide alarms, and everything like that all fitted inside. Pop this on. We've got lovely LED lighting that runs all the way through. And through to the back, you'll see all the curtains and everything like that. All the air conditioning ducts and everything like that still work. Um, so the aircon all blasts through there nice and cold. Uh, we've got a full uh, fridge freezer down there with a small freezer, freezer compartment and a number of different sort of handy storage cabinets and things like that as well, um, which is all very useful. You've got under, under um, bed storage as well. Um, that just pulls out from down there. Uh, I'm just going to attempt to, uh, to pull the bed out quickly. Very difficult to do it with a uh, <laughs> with holding a camera as well, um, but that just shows that the uh, the bed all pulls out very nicely and flat there as well, and uh, is extremely comfortable actually. Really, really very nice. Still gives you a decent amount of space at the front, um, and you get storage uh, underneath the bed, which can stay there, so you can put all of your bags and things like that. Um, I'll run around to the back while we've got the bed down, just to show you some of the other bits and pieces. Uh, the reversing camera is located up there, really smartly put in. And we've got all of your power management system here um, for when you're on hookup or uh, whether or not you're going to be using the leisure battery or not. We've got a handy space in here for storage. And then a little cupboard down here, which has got all of your uh, hookup cables and things like that that you should need. All of that's included in the sale price for the vehicle. But yeah, just having a look, quick, quick look through here. And I'll just show you the pop top as well. You also notice we've got a, uh, an awning rail that's fitted up onto here. Um, this is for the uh, Van Gogh driveway awning. Uh, fantastic, uh, almost, well, pretty much, be, I think it's been used for maybe like two nights or something like that in really, really lovely condition. I'm not going to show it to you here, but um, recently had it out, so I'll just overlay some, some video of, uh, of that all set up. But it basically does mean that you can, um, you can park up uh, at a campsite and um, with the awning inflated and everything like that uh, and then actually just be able to, to leave it all up uh, zip it all up and drive off for the day and then come back and just reconnect it straight on um, but again it's uh, it's a really really good use of space it just means you can use the van for sort of storage and for cooking and, and things like that uh, and then sleep in the awning if you like uh, but again it just pretty much quadruples the amount of space that you've got uh, whilst using the van which is really really useful um, and uh, makes going away a lot more fun So to use the pop top, you just um, release the ratchet straps that are up there, just that, that hold the um, the roof nice and closed. Uh, once they've been take, taken off, you can simply push up on there, and the whole pop top is available there. It's more than enough room for me to stand up in it. Uh, we've got these bunk boards that they call them here. Um, these just basically slide across to create a bed. So um, obviously during the day when you're when you're using it, maybe cooking or something like that, you move these up and out the way. Uh, also, this actually turned into a very, very handy storage unit um, throughout the day, so you can put bags and, and uh, all your bits and pieces and everything like that um, up there and out of the way, um, but still be able to stand up and, and use it. Um, we've got these uh, windows that open up on the side here, which gives you a lovely amount of light. So again, when you're 
in the van, you've got a nice view. Um, and then if you do want to use it as a bed, you just simply pull across these bunk boards like so, and it just creates the bed up there. You lift yourself up and get into the back. And again, you'll see uh, you've got really nice LED lights all the way throughout. This has all been sound deadened and really beautifully finished all the way through. So it's actually a nice cozy bed area. And obviously, again, you've got fly screens and everything like that. All of these are in really good condition. Zip that back up. You've got another window on this side as well. Um, and then sort of storage and everything like that up here. So yeah, it does. It gives a, a really nice cozy bed up there. Um, I'd almost suggest if you're going away with two people, one person upstairs and one downstairs, actually would give everybody a decent amount of space to, to uh, move around. Um, I think that's pretty much it on the inside. Um, I said, hopefully this has given you a, certainly a good idea. Uh, it's a fantastic use of space actually all the way throughout it. Everything's been very well thought of. It's finished absolutely superbly and like I said in very very nice condition. Um, all of the plastics and everything like that. Very um, very very few signs of any uh, any marks or anything. Uh, curtains all the way through. And yeah it's all very very nice indeed. So you just close that again. Uh, some of the other additional options on the van, we have fully keyless entry. Um, so you just walk up to the to the van and without having to, to press the buttons on the keys, you can unlock and lock just by pressing the button on the door there and that will lock it, press it again and that will unlock. And then you've got a twist and turn keyless start on there. Silky smooth V6 engine, idles beautifully. No, uh, no warning lights on whatsoever. Uh, the previous owner, at great expense, uh, had cruise control professionally fitted onto there. Uh, a lot of these don't come with that, so that's all been done and everything's been hardwired in very nicely. Uh, we've got a dash cam up there, um, which could be changed for your own model, but again, that's all been um, pre-wired, everything like that in here with switches down here at the bottom as well. And then you can also open the, uh, the side doors and everything manually from down there. And then this is your control panel here uh, for the LPG system which I'm more than happy to, to sort of help talk through. Um, and then other nice options, things like power folding door mirrors, which again, all work absolutely perfectly. Um, and just overall, you can see the condition inside is really, really lovely. I hope this video has given you a really good understanding of the, uh, the overall condition of the van uh, and some of the features that this one does have. It is in absolutely beautiful condition, has been exceptionally well cared for, and we'd obviously love to be able to show it to you in person. If we can help with any further information, please do not hesitate to contact us through our website, which is jajarvis.co.uk, and we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks very much again for watching, and we'll see you next time.